Hello everyone. Now moving on to our another topic under paleontology section, we have fossils and fossilization. So when you talk about fossils, fossil is actually a Latin word which means to dig up. Fine. Now looking at the definition of fossils, fossil is defined as remains of plants and animals which have existed on the earth in prehistoric times and are found preserved with, within sedimentary rocks or superficial deposits of the earth not only mostly as petrified structures of organisms but also whatever was directly connected with or produced by these organisms. So in very simple words fossils are actually the remains of those organisms maybe it was a plant or an animal which existed on the earth during the prehistoric times and these remains actually preserved they got preserved within the sedimentary rocks within the layers of the sedimentary rocks so the remains they got preserved within the sedimentary rocks or any superficial deposits of the earth fine and afterwards these are actually what we call it as the fossils now let's look at the stages of fossilization at first we have death and decay then we have deposition then permineralization and then erosion or exposure so at the first stage of fossilization the death and decay what happens you you have an organism okay here is maybe the hard hard part of the organism or you can say maybe this is a soft part or this is the hard part of the organism now what happens this soft part of organism it gets decomposed and after that only the hard body remains so this is what death and decay is the soft body parts are decomposed or scavenged leaving only the hard body remains fine now at the second step the deposition takes place the hard remains are rapidly covered with silt and sand over time more layers continue to build now as the the organism it decayed the hard remains they were actually started got covering up with silt and sand the sedimentation took place fine then the next process is permineralization now what happens as over the remains due to the layering the pressure increased now what happened pressure from the covering layers of dirt rock caused the hard organic material to be replaced by minerals now as the pressure increased this hard organic material it started replacing with minerals this process will be looking separately in the further lecture now after the third process we have the fourth process that is erosion or exposure movement of earth plates may displace the fossil return it to the surface for discovery now we'll look at how actually this happened at first we had an organism it got dead it decayed as it decayed the soft part outside it you know it started decaying and only the hard part remained now as after the burial the decaying of the organism it started you know covering with silt and sand sedimentation took place as the sedimentation took place the pressure over it increased and as the pressure over it increased the organic hard part it got you know replaced by the minerals that is permineralization after that what happened due to the erosion this layer started eroding up after millions of years and as it eroded we got this back again that is erosion or exposure so this is the process of fossilization now what are the conditions of fossilization because fossilization cannot happen over you know and any condition it's a very rare process a very rare and long process so definitely there are certain conditions which need to be fulfilled in order to have the process of fossilization so in order for fossilization to occur the following conditions are required the first condition is that 
the hard body part should be there because whenever there is an organism the soft body parts what happens we have seen in the first stage of fossilization the death and decay so at that process the soft body parts they got decayed so we need a hard body part that's that's the only thing after which the fossilization would start so the hard body parts like the bones teeth shells so they should be present cuz soft body parts will not fossilize but may leave behind trace evidence example imprints we will be looking at what is these trace evidences and imprints fine the second condition is that preservation of remains fine preservation of remains actually means the protection against scavenging erosion and environmental damage see once the soft body part it got decayed okay now what happened if you get you know the hard remains they get exposed to the environmental conditions they will get start eroding okay so we need the rapid burial as soon as the animal or the plant the organism got dead it should be buried immediately in order to protect it against scavenging erosion or environmental damage and then it will be preserved as remains so this is the second condition third condition is that we need high pressure for the process of mineralization of remains see we saw here that in the process the stages of fossilization the third process was permineralization okay so due to high pressure we need to replace this organic material with minerals all right so the third process i mean the third condition which need to be satisfied is actually the presence of what high pressure to promote mineralization of remains that is turn the hard body parts into fossilized rocks the fourth condition for fossilization is anoxic conditions anoxic means low oxygen conditions so as to protect it against oxygen damage and prevent decomposition by saprotrophs so these are actually the conditions of fossilization so we have seen what are fossils we have seen the stages of fossilization and we have seen the conditions for fossilization now we'll be looking at the modes of fossilization or the modes of preservance of fossils thank you Thank <laughs> you.